Hey everybody, welcome back to Nick's Mini Bikes. Um, in the last episode, we got our brakes working and bled, and they worked great. So I got the emergency brake on now, so this will roll away on me. Um, in today's video, we're gonna make some gussets. We're gonna get some gussets in the frame right here, and we're gonna get some gussets in the back, probably in this this spot here, and up on the top angle right here so come along for the ride and let's jump right in and get started on making these gussets so all i'm going to do is i'm going to take a piece of cardboard and a magic marker this happens to be the one I found is gold. So I'm just going to trace this shape onto this cardboard. Get us off. Go this way. I'm just going to lay it on the outside. I'm going to trace the shape of the inside here. I want these guts to go a certain length down the down tube there because this frame has been repaired. I don't want those gussets to go down past that. So I'm just gonna mark my length there. And then we have a weld here. I'm gonna take the gusset past that as well. So we know we're at least gonna be from here to here on our length. I don't have a lot of metal, I don't want this big of a gusset in there so let's see what we can come up with here I got this we'll just kind of lay it in there and eyeball it I'll still be pretty I'll leave my ears kind of small don't particularly like that Even that one is better. Maybe I'll just start by getting me some straight lines for this gusset. Kind of give me what I want. I eyeball that center. I want it at least that long. I want it to be kind of beefy, but not crazy beefy. So let's that and that gives me an intersection mark for that one like that and if I put this in there something like that This will be my gusset. And I like that. I think that'll look nice. I think that'll look good. Get this cut out and then we'll start figuring out what to do about metal. All right, so we got this cut out of our cardboard. And we're just gonna see if it fits here. Say that fits pretty good right there like that. That's what I'm after. So we'll get this transferred onto some metal scraps that I have. And uh, I'm going to have to make them out of a couple pieces because that's what I have. So let's get this transferred onto some metal and uh, see what we come up with. 
All right, so we got some metal here. I did buy this piece here. Um, then I found this piece in my garage, and I think this piece will be better. So let's do some tracing. I want to try to waste as little as possible here because I'd like to get both of them out of this one piece. So we'll line up our top edge there. And our front. And we'll trace that out. And I'll mark the bottom. So that's our first piece that we need cut out. Something like that. Now this is what we have left that we need. And uh, set it on right here. Try to waste as little metal as possible. those two lines and that's going to be one gusset uh, there will be a weld seam on it but I don't have metal big enough so this is this is what I got so let's mark out our other one Do the same spot for this one. About right there. Straight edge to put those two together. Now I'll get these cut out and I'll bring you right back. All right, so we got these cut out. They're very, very, very rough shaped, um, which is fine. I kind of, uh, kind of want them together. Maybe not so much like this, but at least these two pieces together. And these two pieces together for final shaping so that they match and maybe not even for final shaping maybe just for another rough shaping we're gonna tack these together so that we can uh, get them to match so I tacked both pieces together I put my layout back on there I marked it back out again now we'll go take a grinder and grind up to our line on these pieces and I got my layout back on these two pieces just lightly tacked together got my layout back on there like so back here now I'll go and I'll slowly grind up 
to those lines as well. All right, so we ground them to match each other, and then I cut them apart again. We're getting closer to our final shape here. Um, these don't quite match very well. So if we put those together like that, see we got quite a bit of a discrepancy there, but that's okay, we can fix that. It doesn't matter which one you put there because these were together and we ground the same as well. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to tack these pieces together like that. And then, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to tack them together on one side. And then I'm going to weld them together on the other side, um, opposite sides, so that they will still go together like this. So we'll get them together and then I'm going to tack the two pieces back together, shape this the way I want it, and then we'll cut them apart again and see how they fit. So this is what we did here. We got those together, got that one that way, that one that way. Well, we tacked them on opposite sides so that they can go together like this. Now we'll line everything back up, throw some tacks around the edges here, and we'll shape it all together, and we'll have our gussets made. So I decided there's no reason they can't be full on welded before uh, this final step. So I fully welded them on both sides, ground them flat, matched up this bottom piece together and gave it some tacks. Not too many, just one there and a few right here. So there's just three tacks holding that together. Now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna shape this all to match each other. So probably just cut that little peak out right there and shave that back so it all matches nice. And uh, maybe match this up a little better. Then we'll cut them apart. So there we go. There's our gussets. Got both of them. They match each other pretty, pretty good. How close are they to our template? They're pretty close. They're off just a little bit here and there, but they're good. The template's just a rough, a rough idea. What you come up with in the end is perfect. So that's those. Let's take them over to the bike, see if they fit. We'll just test fit one side. I want them to sit inside the frame. And it's not perfect. Maybe we'll go outside because it'll fit better. We could do some fine tuning on that and get it to fit in there how we want. But I think I will just end up just sticking it out a little bit like that and it fits perfect. I think I'll bring my grinder over here and I'll work this and I'll get that to fit in there exactly how I want it. All right, so it took a lot of grinding, but I got this gusset fitting the way I want it to. It fits inside the frame. And it fits in there pretty good, about like that. So I'll get that one tacked in, and then I'll start the process of grinding my life away on the other side.
that's about all I'm going to do for now. Yeah, that's what we're after. I like it. We'll do the other side. So we got our second gusset all trimmed up to fit in that spot we want it to really nice. Um, just to show you how much we had to trim off, get it to fit right. There's our gusset and our original template. I had to trim all this out with the grinder to get that to fit right. But they're fitting good, just took a little bit of time. Now we'll just get that uh, tacked in place as well. So there's those front gussets put on. Now I'll repeat the same process on the back. I'm gonna put a gusset in right here and down here on both sides. So that's the same process that I did for the front ones here. So I'm just gonna knock those out and uh, bring it back when those are done. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Nick's Mini Bikes. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe so you can catch what we got going on next on this uh, trike build. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.